All right, well, so we got a couple clips here. Let me let, let's yeah, just go through the them here. Yeah, dude, we got this this clip which we thought was really cool because that that spot's been around forever oh, yeah. too. That's an OG, OG. spot. Oh, OG. Yeah. So yeah. I think I was trying nose grind 180 at first. Oh. I went there to do a back nose grind 180. Wow. Oh, okay. And I right away, every time I would revert, I would just dig in my back and you know what I mean? Like I just could not. So steep. Right yeah, away. it's a steep Big, rail yeah. for sure. Oh. So then I just decided to just do that. <laughs> so were you content though? Because you, you, you went there for something else, but were you content? By- uh, I was semi-content. Like I'm, dude, I'm a hard dude. I'm never happy with myself. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, well, we're all our own worst critic. But. I remember like in the photo, I think daughter's show a photo. Like I remember being stoked though. Like, oh, that's an OG spot. This looks cool. Like, yeah. Mm. I didn't hate it, you know? Right, right. I mean, it's it solid. It wasn't bro. what I went there Fuck for. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that Solid. Shit. I mean, this, this would be the photo right here. Just Bop. Ooh. Yeah, look at that good stuff. That would be the yeah, photo. Yeah, so I didn't mind that, you know, but. Sometimes the photos. I don't know, in my mind, you know when you're hung up on something, like for me it was like nose grind reverting rails at that time. It was like, I want to, you know, like I want to do this summer. Kind yeah, of thing. totally. And sometimes when you get the Love photo that. back, you see the photo, you're even more stoked on that than the, the actual footage. Yeah. Totally, yeah, and they'll be telling you that when you're trying it and you're giving up too. You know, like the photo looks the sick. Photos, no, <laughs> bro. Yeah, yeah. But then when you're home and chilling, and they email it to you two days later, you're like, "Oh, that was like pretty." You're like, like, yeah, like sick. Oh, let's go back and get. That. Hey, daughters always shoots good photos, dude. Yeah, sure. daughters is the best. Hell I still yeah. talk to him here and there. We text, you know, every yeah. so often and check in on each other. Hell yeah, he's a good. dude. I don't dude. know how many photos he's shooting, but. Hmm. Well, back then that was like our dude. Like, yeah, every day or every week just the guy would go skate with and he would just and i don't shoot photos ever and every once in a while in my head i have these ideas of like something that might look cool and i'm like when i text daughters like that you should daughters, fire see it up bro like yeah like i wonder if you'd want to come out like i don't but just, dude, like i said it seems like you, a lifetime ago you never but. know and you can skate like you go to any spot and you could just like hey let's go to those banks in laguna and he would make the photo there look insane Totally, yeah. yeah. Some people got it like that. Some yeah. people, so bro. Cool. Yes. back too. I remember Blabes would always like would skate the shittiest spot, and he'd always call it "click into huge." He'd put the fisheye lens on. He's like, "I'm just gonna click it to huge." <laughs> there you like, go. Some, some weird angle with that right fisheye, and all of a sudden this four stair rail looks massive. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, <laughs> that was, he says he's best. It. I love oh, he's it. one of the best out there. Definitely. Yeah, those were the two dudes. I feel like I shot like quite a bit with for a while but what's up with this trick bro i thought this was really interesting oh, no, now i'm worried a hard flip wall <laughs> ride. wow kind of it didn't really work it kind of bounced like yeah but you got all four wheels up there you did too yeah yeah so they made sad. contact um yeah i don't know <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> like yeah like were you, did you go there trying <laughs> something else or did you go there like thinking no like, i hey, thought I'm, about that yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's like a lot of the spots are just shit we go to all the time so mm. it's like that spot's pretty close to my house and like you know, we'd end up there on a random Saturday, just like wall riding and stuff, you know? Gotcha. So like, I think I had kickflip wall ride it probably at some point for fun and was like, you know, I wonder if a hard flip wall ride can work. And it's Amazing. the type of thing where I probably tested it one day, you know, like just threw one out there and it made contact. And I was like, oh, look at that. Like, right. I think this could work, you know? And yeah, I mean, that was weird because I usually don't go out at night and do those. Like that was one of the few times where I actually called a filmer up and was like, we go skate this wall ride at ten o'clock at night right now, like, bro. Look I mean, at that, I though. I know, you Come on, up, up bro. Look at that catch on that yeah, wall. Yeah. And I don't see you doing wall rides they, too much. That's either. why this trick was very interesting. Mm-hmm. I love wall rides. I do them a lot. I just don't. I guess they never end up on camera. You know, like yeah, right. I love mashing up walls. You know who did a good one? A hard flip wall ride was John Mata. You see yeah, that? yeah. That was I, yeah. insane. Oh, that was yeah, good. But yeah, that's a very rarely seen. It works if it's like a little bit, I don't know, if you have the right angles and stuff. It, it works. Like I said, mine kind of bounced off. I was hoping to like wall ride a little better. Yeah. Hey, it was great clip. Definitely. Dude. Oh, yeah. great clip. Everyone's their own worst critic. So. Yeah, we, yep. This is the truth, bro. Definitely that's a, that's truth. technically a, a hard flip wall bounce right there. Hard <laughs> flip wall bounce. Okay. I, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take but it. But yeah, it works. We, we take it all. Um, yeah. this trick yeah. now, Dude, I'm getting, like all the ones I hate. That's what I'm, it's why like, do you, you hate like, I this trick? At, I didn't slide at all. There's no slide, but like, I, it holy works. shit, I mean, thank bro. you. Yes. Thank you. No, but, <laughs> I, I just, no, but it's, I love it because it's interesting because You're I would, me feel so much better. No, I would probably, <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the, the tricks that I did, but other people like, Oh, that was such a sick trick. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it was weird. That was heavy. That was like heavy influenced by like, you know, old plan B videos and stuff like yeah. the parking garage area, like everyone could do. 
I think I remember talking to Colin and stuff about that, and they were like, like that trick was so hard for me, and I think they were like, well, you can't, do in a way, you know what I mean? Like they were used to doing that, and I was like, dude, it's so hard for me to 270 out, and it's like, you watch those old videos, and those dudes are just like. Doing it. Yeah, I guess you know, so. Huh? Yeah, back like 270 outs of things, and like. But dude, that was your spot, bro. That, you did a lot of good shit Sarah, at that spot. Yeah, I love that definitely. spot. I haven't been there in a long time, but I always dream if I can like eventually build a park one day or something where you're a warehouse or, you know, in the backyard, like I pretty much just make, make one of that those, spot. So. I mean, to be honest yeah. with you, it's almost the perfect ledge spot. Like it's the shortness. Good a lot of ledge. Yeah, that's the thing. You can try anything. You know, some ledges are too long to try these weird nose blunt tricks and stuff. You don't want to like. I don't know. That one's like safe if it makes sense. Like you yeah. just jump past it. Exactly. And even the, the, le- the, you know, the width of it and just, uh, so the only thing you would have it. changed is, is the slide. You, you said you didn't slide uh, along enough. Yeah. You see that? Like, yeah. I mean, you did it's slide, one of those though. things where it's like, yeah, I mean, that's like how <laughs> it had slide. to happen. Like I remember it wouldn't get all the way around. And I remember being like, I have to like pretty much be turning like, Right. Yeah, there's a certain, you know what I'm saying? A certain rotation you. <laughs> you have to keep the momentum you yeah, have to course. keep going. Yeah. And I'm sure it's one of those things where I probably wanted to redo it and everyone was like, it's fine, it's good. I'm like, it's good. And I just threw it in and wasn't happy with another part. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, happens to the fine. best of us, bro. Yeah, you're going to kick me off. I'm like, good still. Okay. <laughs> Hey. I, I like the big spin back nose blunt because you were the first one I seen do that. You did. Oh, yeah. there in the, I like, like that trick. You know what's so funny? I wonder if PJ would remember it, but he like kind of like told me I couldn't do that trick, not in a mean way, but not like I couldn't do it. But like I remember thinking of that trick when we used to skate KO Park oh, when yeah. it was like Deerdex old setup. Oh yeah. I remember saying something about it and him kind of being like, "I don't really see it," you know, like and and I, that was like all it took for me. Where it's like, right. I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> If PJ do this one, yeah, this like, thing? Wow. And so I remember trying it way back then and it didn't really work as well. It was like a pop shove it, nose manual, nose blunt. And uh, same thing, like I don't know what happened over the years, but then all of a sudden one day it was just kind of like, there. I whip can do right this in. and it's Crazy. like, yeah, like I can just, Amazing. that's one of the ones that just works now. Like I can just whip it in there and it. I love that. It worked. Um, this backside flip was a beast. Mm, yeah, that was. And that, it looks like a really cool. steep yeah kicker too and skinny. yeah and you gotta land between those yeah those that's poles what's sketchy did you ever far. hit a pole i didn't thank oh god whoa thank so god this one this was on a neff trip i rode for neff mm, neff hats, the hats yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah whatever um <laughs> but we went on a trip. hey hey i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at <laughs> you it. know what i'm saying it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like the grind king you get it right? there you I go know, but, um <laughs> Thank you, Mike Sinclair, for doing that for me for a while. There you um, go. But so we were on a trip with Sinclair, Dumb. and I was getting the feeling heavy that I wasn't performing. You know what I'm saying? No, like, so you just stepped it up. And really? so that was kind of one of those ones where, like, I got to that spot and was like, I kind of like this spot. Like, this looks cool. Like, I think I could backside flip it. Like, okay. I think it was like 120 degrees, but it was like, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm gonna do this. So. Yeah. You know, thing actually, obviously because i wanted to you know like i, I would have preferred to come back on a cloudy day but it was like go. we're there and like yeah, let's make it looks it long I though too. It. It, it i mean just to it's thread long. the needle it's one of those weird spots yeah just thread the needle in and out Ooh. steep, steep and short with yeah, yeah. and then a hundred yeah. something degrees i like those spots dude i don't know i've always liked those weird like tight bumps and stuff hmm like, I've never That's looked tight, I dig. tight bumps just really as a turnoff for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, the, here, the, the kickflip shifties. Oh, man, yeah. That, this is a, that's, yeah that's an old one, huh? Amazing. So here's a funny one. So this was for a Planet Earth ad that never came out. Oh. I was going gonna to ride for Planet Earth. Okay. Um, hmm. Like my first skate trip ever back then, I went on a Converse trip when they did their program the first time. Yep. Was Roger TM in? Ooh. No, so Roger got me on, but Roger had just stopped being the TM. Mm. He came on the trip to film, though. Okay. And uh, so Roger basically was the one that was like, yeah, you should ride for Converse. My friend Matt's doing the TM. Like, I'll get you in touch, whatever. So then that summer, they took me on a trip, and Kenny Anderson was on the trip. And he was like, hey, like, you know, I dig what you do or whatever, you know? Like, would you want to ride for Planet Earth? And I was like, yeah. I Like, Kenny Anderson's one of my totally absolute all-time favorites, you know? So it was like, yes, I'll do whatever you say Kenny yeah and uh dude this was like minus 30 like so freezing cold and they wanted an ad and I was like dude it's winter in New England like it's really (laughs) cold you know and they were like well we'd like to give you like a an ad you know so I went out and shot a couple tricks that day and that was one of them but then right before the ad came out 
I ended up riding for expeditions. So. Did you ever ride but, for yeah. Planet Earth clothing? That's what no. I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking no, about no, Planet Earth clothing. No, no, this was boards. No, this is when, gotcha. when they were still a board company. Gotcha. Yeah, like Kenny was still on the board. Because oh, yeah, you were on Elwood. I was getting stuff from Elwood, yeah, for a minute. and uh, Right. All sorts of different things. But yeah, that was like a Kenny hookup, you know? Like, uh, where is that gap? That 4E video. Oh, yeah. Which one? Oh, it's in Boston, that one. it's uh, I don't know if it's still there. Is that the same one? If you scale off the other side, you go into the street? You know that one a PJ360 flipped, like super big? No, that one's right there, though. Like same area. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to like, my brain's so, everything, like I said, seems so weird. But yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the one PJ Trey flipped was like, or kickflip, whatever he did, was like across the street at Government Center. Oh, okay. Let me tell you something, man. You went almost more than 90 on this. Like, you see a kickflip shifty, and it's kind of like, it's a good shifty. You, like... Yeah. It's cool when you, you see him boned went, out, bro, too. Yeah. That's crazy. I was just stoked it worked out, because I remember that was like that bone-chilling, like, kingpin Oof. snapping, no turning of the trucks. Like, Oh, God. I remember I just so if you slap your hand on the ground, it's, it feels it's like funny that I'm wearing a red hoodie. Like, I don't think I've worn red since that day. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's like all I'm noticing. I'm like, oh, red hoodie. Oh, hey, speaking of big oh. fours, we got this big four in a- ATL that was in uh, PJ's oh, yeah. Wonderful Horrible Life. Good Hard flip. ATL. Yeah, that was a good time. That yeah. same session that Alexis Kiff did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all just showed up one night and just lit it up and had at it for an hour or something. Sick. Mm. That was when that shit was fun, you know? You'd just show up and jump down stuff for, like, fun. Like, that's what we actually wanted to do with our time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you did it twice because first one you hit, you touched the ground and second one you, it was perfect. Yeah, the old I didn't do it perfect and everyone's like, it looks better that way. And you're like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> do it. I mean, I, the debate is real Yeah, because, like, it does look better sometimes. Not in that one. I'm glad I did the second one. Maybe okay. it's just that angle. Maybe the first, if they had a front angle, I don't know. But I got yeah, you. When you're got in you. your head, you know you just need yeah. to do it the way that you want to of do course, it going course. into it. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. And then Nobody no. goes in like, I'm going to land this trick with my hand no, on the ground. Like, that's never that. a thought, you know? Like, sure. So when it happens, you're like, well, that wasn't it. And then this one, too, is the, uh, another, it's uh, the, the uh, double set. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right down the street from me right now. It looks like a good that was double a fun set. spot. We used mm-hmm. to skate that. It looks. It is uh, other than falling off the sidewalk and like you kind of skated down a hallway. I can't remember if you had to open like a door or a gate or not at the top. Mm. It looks yeah, small like, though, and it looks fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of my favorites for sure around here. Okay. Like it was, that was when I like used to come out to Carlsbad before I lived here. Gotcha. And I remember that being like one of the spots we would like hit every trip. You know. Like, oh. And this day you were feeling good, obviously you did, two two bangers. I was always feeling good back then. Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Who doesn't feel good when they're 19? This is is true. 19 and in California, just feeling wonderful. Take me to your spots. I I get stoked if I feel feel good like one day out of the month. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just constant depression and dread these days. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) For sure. Hey, here's one. I mean, this... The, uh, let, let me just play it for you, bro. Because we all we all know and love this clip. Kickflip back Ooh, nose blunt. Clipper. Oh, gnarly, dude. That's and gnarly. I thought my hand touched on that one. I almost went and redid it. Wait, what? <laughs> my hand came very close. Yeah, I, when I first rode away, like right there, I was like in my head like, well, I guess that's it. Like, I thought my hand touched. Like, I literally thought I touched the ground. Oh, you and thought to you touched, it. but you didn't. Oh, yeah. I, I see what you you're kind of You kind of down the last Yeah. Part okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have that second of blackout, you know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. I had tried some and didn't ride away, and suddenly I'm riding away, and I'm like, like, I was low to the ground, you know? Like, in my head, I was like, I think I just fucking touched, like, that was so dumb. Why did I touch the ground? Like, Well, it just looked, to me, it just looked like you were feeling how uh, hot the concrete was. You know? I think <laughs> I was using, like, tight Sometimes shoes. you could hover and just check the ends. It's pretty good. It's a warm day. I was, I was <laughs> going to fall. That works. Yeah. I think I was going to fall, and I, I kind of, like, used energy to, like, yeah, you, you, use the Earth's, you use the Earth's yeah. energy to, to the force. He's the, the force. force. Yeah. So yeah, technically I did not touch, but uh, yeah, that was that was great. So when you watch <laughs> the footage, probably ever done. when you watch the footage back, you were like, okay, cool, I didn't touch. Yeah, and then I could. I was like, okay, like I believe you now. Now we can relax. Right. <laughs> How many tries? But yeah, first, not that many that day. So oh, that was a second day thing, which I normally don't do. But like, we went up one time to try it. Mm-hmm. And uh, came like really close, and Kyle had gotten the photo. Okay. And Transworld had already yeah, said they want to run it, so it was like 
Oh, that's right. Do it, you know? Oh, so, so. You, this was a different mm -hmm. trip. Second time was a different yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. the first day I tried it, like I was so weirded out and nervous that like I was, you know, just like kind of doing them crazy, like going too fast and shaky, but like huh. every once in a while I would like come pretty close, you know, like I landed on a couple and right. it was like, this is doable, but the same thing, like I'm not a battler, you know, like I hit that point where mentally I just knew right. I'm not going to do it. Like I'm not even trying to land this. I'm trying not to die on my bails. Like gotcha. I have no... There's no land in my brain right now. So Kyle got the photo, said, hey, Transworld wants to run it. And so you're like, okay, I got to go back. You probably so wanted Kyle to go back up and get it, it anyway. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I right. wanted to do it, but like I thought like, whatever. I don't know, maybe someone else would do it or just no rush kind of. And yeah. So whatever, I left that spot the first day defeated. And then at breakfast the next morning, I think Daughters was the one that texted me. It was like, hey, dude, like Transworld wants to run it as the cover. Like, can you go land that before you come home? I just like no, I can't like. Oh my I can't god! Do that right now. More pressure on you right there. Wow. Yeah, it's gnarly. Yeah, so we came all the way home, you know, and then it was like for the next couple of weeks they'd be like, Are you, "Do you want to go back up?" Like, <sighs> and it's like that's not something you re you know you want to do it, but you don't at the same time. You're like, "Yes, let's spend money on a hotel room and I'll drive up to watch me like right. try this trick," you know, like. And that's the thing; it's not like down the street from your house. No, it's no a, it's nine a six hour, hour car ride. Yeah, yeah. nine hours. Yeah, it's not a small and, uh, spot. It's not an easy trick. Like you can no, get all of it. Yeah, road. but like I knew I could do it, you know, right. and that was the frustrating part. I was like, I know I can do this. Like this isn't doesn't sound like you know what I'm saying. It's just pressure. But, yeah. yeah. Let, let me Second just, day I went, I almost did it first try. Like the first one I kick flipped into, I landed on one foot and was like, holy shit! I almost oh gosh, did it geez. first try. Like, wow. but then there was like a little downtime where we're like, okay, these are getting worse now. And uh, let me ask you a question. Is there something about Clipper? I, I've never personally been there to go actually look at the hubba, but is there something about it that, that makes it safer? Like, is it the width on the top or is it just a normal hubba? Like, is there something about I know. it? I mean, because you look at this, some of the know. shit that's gone down. I mean, you were talking about Durrell skating the other side of it and like crazy shit, you know? Crazy shit. I mean, I think it's just one of those things where once someone steps, you know what I mean? It's like once you see someone does something and doesn't die, more people do it. That's, like, true. Oh, that's true. I don't think it's like a great hubba. I mean, I'm okay. not like an expert hubba critic, but like. Hmm. I mean, it was always deep. great. It was so weird to see because it's so, it's kind of roundish. It's a little yeah, roundish. It's and exactly it's wide round. on top. That's why I thought it was maybe a good hubba, you yeah. know? I yeah, mean, I'm not a hubba guy down it. Yeah. yeah, you can like test them out. Like when I went there the first night, we drove up to SF and got in at night. Yeah. And I wasn't about to try it, but I was like, can you please drive me there so I can look at it? Like, I can't go to bed not knowing. Like, I just need to go look at this thing. Gotcha. And so I remember the first night I was like freestyle walking on it. Like, I was just running and jumping and running down the hubba just to like, <laughs> okay. you know, get used to jumping kind of. Yeah. So it's like in that aspect, yeah, you're not going to do that down a rail. You're not going right, to run right, right. like, it's wide enough to run down, but uh, sure. it's steep, man. Like, and there's not much run up. And, right. You got to use the wood and stuff. Yeah. Did you but, have wood yeah, as on far there? As, no, I didn't do the wood. I don't. If you're going fake, yeah, I understand. But if you're going regular, like, I'm, I don't... Oh, did you throw down or did you just have your board in front of you and jump on it? Uh, yeah, I just kind of, like, walked and threw down. Like, I okay. think I had to climb up a couple stairs. Like, I think I started on, like, the second or third stair, gotcha. you know? And, like, that's what makes it hard. Sometimes you throw down and it's, like, too late to bail, but you know yeah. you're not doing it. And you just got to jump anyways. Like, right. Dude. But uh, I didn't like the wood. I think we brought wood. Like, in my mind, I already hated the wood anyways. I was like, <laughs> I don't really like when people do the wood there. Like, <laughs> dropping in on wood to a spot, like, something takes it away from me. Like, sure, sure. But we did bring it, and I tried it once, and I was like, I can't judge my speed. Like, I don't can't. like dropping in. Like, yeah. I'm more of a throw down guy. So Yeah, that's true. Right. And you could judge your speed you really well down. by either throwing yeah. down or but just But if have... you're going to go, like I said, if you're going fakey or something, like, by all means, bring wood. Like, I'm not trying sure. to discredit. No, no, no. We, we get you. What's your, hey, it's all personal preference at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, so. yeah. But, um, great trick. Cover of Transworld. Yeah, only cover. One and done. Wow. That, it all happened in one. It was like I wanted to do that trick, and, like, that was the age where I was starting to take inventory on my, like, career, I guess you'd call it, you know? And it was like, I'm pretty happy with everything. Like, I could go get a job right now and, like, be fine. Sure. Other than the cover. Like, I've never had a cover, and, like... I had had a couple like almost promised to me, you know, mm. like, oh, we're going to give you the cover. And then like, it doesn't happen. And you're like, ah. damn. So for me, it was like, all right, I'm going to get this trick done. It's the cover. Like, hey, man, at yeah. least you got a cover, yeah. bro. I, I can't yeah. say that I have. But uh, but that was in Gone Fishing. That was in Gone Fishing. 
yeah. that kickflip yeah. back nose blunt slide. I um, always loved that he does like the hardest trick I could ever imagine doing down that, and then he just does a no comply after. That's like, that's I, and the no comply was probably harder. <laughs> <laughs> the no comply and, and looked worse. Like I'm not very good at no complies. Like I don't know. That's how why I was like, but, what is he doing to a no comply? Dude, you know when you're just nervous and freeze up. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what came over me, but I was like, no comply. Like oh, that was funny. <laughs> so good. Even if you mess up, most people up do a big spin. I feel like everyone just throws oh, yeah. a backside big spin oh, somehow. Yeah. And every time well, I ever tried that, I never landed in. I was like, well, that was dumb. So I just didn't know. Yeah, I feel like the the back big spins now are just are like the uh, you know the tray flip or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or like the ground that. shove. It used to be back in the videos, and they would just whip a ground shove it before some tricks. Totally. It's like, uh, um, landing with a big spin. This is this is amazing. This one is uh the first from first love. The uh, basketball half this? court basketball shot, and then of course oh, your favorite that? legends. Okay. I thought we were analyzing my shot at first. Well, we can. We can. We can. <laughs> it's a very how many tries? Yeah, sequence. how many tries did that take you? Uh, you know, probably first try. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Same with the line too. Uh, probably. I no, 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 no. Neither. I'm sure. <laughs> not the best style on that shot, though. I'm sure it's not. The hey, it was great. You made it though. That, that's what counts. True. Yeah, like I like this sort of quick lines. You know, I think John Holland maybe helped come up with this one. Like Sick. I was skating with John Holland at this time, and you know. John's I think man. we were skating the two. Like at Sarah's school, there's like the side that has two blocks and then the side with three blocks. Dude, and if we you always skated the two blocks, you know, and I think he was like, well, why don't you get some on these three? Because like, bro, so yeah, no one skated those part. ones. Right? And, it's, it, it, yeah. and it's no push. Yeah. Yeah. You got to just try to rifle through it. So, so. good. That's super sick. Man, no but push. Yeah, I love you. no push lines. Me too. Yeah. They're hard to come by, but and you're yeah. doing true two tricks that will slow you down so much. Mm -hmm. This is true. And Stay I, consistent on that. I think that might've been the hard part. I think every time I was getting to the big spin front nose, I was like creeping, you know, like, yeah, is there, that was the part. Is there a reason why you popped out of the back nose grind just so you could hit the other ledge or did you just, I go? think, yeah. Cause if I went to the end, I would run into the other ledge, you didn't kind have of, you know, like I wouldn't be able to get to that over one. Yeah. Hmm. So like, it's crazy I too. I had to like kind of pop out to go that way. Dude, was, popping out of a, of a fast back nose grind that quick. That's difficult. man. I almost feel like it was like an over crook almost. Yeah. It was like man. a little like over crook, oh, like was it over grind, whatever we used to call them. Yeah. Like Let's see. it's kind of like when you do a nose pick in a mini ramp, you know, like, yeah, this is a little, little angle. crook. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier. You can use your toe to kind of just wedge it's a out. Great photo, bro. If you want to use this as a, <laughs> as an Instagram post, just let me yeah, know. I'll send, it, I'll send it to you, bro. <laughs> send it to you. Today's Throwback so Thursday random. or whatever. That would be amazing. Um, oh, dude, this clip in in uh, Barcelona. Mm, yes. This was in uh, First so Love buttery. as well. Wow. Yeah. Hard flip one. late one eighty. That is, was the spot for it. Is yeah. that technically the ghetto bird? All right, I don't know, because technically a ghetto bird is gnarly, right? I feel like. Well, that. But ain't... yes, yes, like that's the way the ghetto bird goes, right? Like yeah. that way. The but other like, way is a hard flip revert, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people say the ghetto bird is the hard flip back 180, too. And it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, and that's not right, I don't think. I don't think so either. We used to, when I started doing that trick at first, I would call it a hard flip late 180. Hard flip yeah. that late was like how I learned yeah. it. Like before I could get it all in one motion, like I used to literally like try to hard flip and then catch it and like. And turn, turn backside. Yeah. But I mean, to me, like, that would be a hard flip late 180. Yeah. Yeah. I'd call that. Kind yeah. of, yeah. Or like a big spin hard flip. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, a big like, spin hard flip. But yeah. yeah. Big spin hard flip. Yeah. Dude, that's. But like when people talk about the ghetto bird, like that was Kareem's trick, yeah. right? And the yeah. one he did was the nolly hard flip. Yeah. And then experience. keep going around. Like he didn't bring it back. Yeah. Like yeah. he kept going. So. Exactly. That would be a ghetto bird, I guess, technically. Man, that like, spot looks fun. Fun. I never yeah. went there, I but man, there, that spot looked fun. Yeah, that was the only time I went, and I remember the cops actually showed up. Like, back then in Barcelona, you didn't get harassed too much, you know, but right. I remember the cops actually showed up, and, like, there being some weirdness, but, like, I had fortunately, like, squeaked that one in real quick. And, I feel like back then, there were there were those few spots that the cops would really go in on you. Yeah. Like I guess, yeah. There was that, 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 that big fat rail going down that uh, Rodrigo did tricks yeah. over into the bank. Yeah. Like, oh, the yeah, cops yeah. would really yeah. be harsh there, and a couple other spots, too. That spot was yeah. like in the middle of like, yeah, like where's neighborhood. That yeah. It was in the middle of a neighborhood, Dude, so maybe the people would get a lot of I the couldn't even tell were. you. Yeah. Did they get rid of it? I don't know. Because I, I haven't seen really anything out of there for quite some time. Yeah, that was so smooth, difference. like best ground. It yes. was oh, yeah, that yeah. thing was awesome. I could skate it <sighs> Oh, let's talk about this one then. Uh by the way, was that uh was this clip on a uh first love Transworld filming trip? No, so this was actually on a DC trip. Okay. Um, first, first love. They all went out to Spain, and I ended up bailing on the trip. 
Mm-hmm. Um, just not just whatever dumb and stupid and young, you know what I mean? Okay. And just like, well, I wasn't feeling it and already had footage, you know, like again, not realizing when you're young and like, Oh, someone spent money on a plane ticket. Sure. Like, sure. Such a regret now. But thankfully I had a lot of footage stacked at the time. And so Greg Hunt was cool enough to be like, Hey, we got all this stuff from DC trips. Like we'll give it to your trans world park to make sure it's oh, like perfect. Nice. Just, you know, strong enough or whatever. So, yeah. That was one th- good thing about it. Filming for the trans world videos. They would, they would always take care of you. They had to go, send you on these trips and you're there like you pre- basically had like a personal like a john holland or jason hernandez you know oh, like yeah, yeah. at your side at your disposal yeah. which was and john really- lived right next to me he lived there down go. in this area so back then it was like even before the trans world videos like i would just always skate with john holland anyways you know so it was like it just made it so much easier it was like okay now john's like just hanging out with me for the next like, is that year. amazing like, and can yeah. we just acknowledge real quick that john holland is the best dude ever Dude, the best. Best like, dude. Thank he, you. I think he's back down here. I never see him, but we got to hang out and like. The best dude. He's just such a rad dude. And I remember so many times on those like sessions or trips or whatever, you know, like trying tricks and like starting to get a little negative or like, I don't think this is going to happen. And like, he was the number one dude that would always just be like, you know, oh, you got to like, and it just like start skating, you know, like take it easy and like put the camera down for a bit and start skating with me and hang mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he just made yeah, it so yeah. like. There was never a pressure or like, he never seemed bummed. Like he best you know, dude. He was best. He's a, such a good dude. I feel best like dude. on my trans world part, like I let him down, you know, because I got injured, um, uh, way, maybe a quarter of the way through. I, I was just beginning to mm. film my trans world part, busted my Achilles tendon Damn. and he kept hitting oh, me up. Like, is it, life. is it better? Is it better? And Achilles is the worst injury because it takes like a year yeah, to that heal. Awful. Mm-hmm. And they only give you, you know, whatever, eight months to film, you know, maybe even a year if you're lucky to film for trans world videos. Yeah. And I felt so bad that I let John down, you know, because I, I couldn't know. skate, you know, and that's why half my part was like shove it's and really, and I wasn't flipping my board too much because I couldn't, I was literally skating on a mm. busted ankle. You Such know, a hard was, thing, huh? Yeah. It was and really you can't depressing. predict that, and it's like they already slotted you in. It's just like one of those things where it's like, fucking, like really. And I, I, I was just like, I, and he was like, "Do you want to just do the next trans?" I'm like, I can't do another year of this, man. <laughs> like, I just put out whatever, and I'll just, I'll be happy. But I, I deep down, I felt like, man, I really just let John down, you know. And yeah, I know yeah. that he didn't think that way, you know, because that's just not John. But I felt like that, you know. Yeah. Anyway, sidebars. Drone says. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here's a oh, this is a good clip, dude. Nolly, Nolly burial flip, burial mm. flip. Okay, chain wallet, so good. Nolly chain dude. wallet, right? Yeah, Nolly chain wallet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that's just purely from Mike Carroll, right? I think. Wow, I think that's why we all probably started doing them for a minute. This is yep. true. This is he true. did it really good, and then we all attempted to do it not nearly not as <laughs> good as him. <laughs> you did it really good. But there's you mine. Really yeah. fucking good, bro. Thank you. And that's like a classic SD spot too, right? Washington School Stairs. Oh, yeah. You see that a lot. Yeah. Those have been skated forever, and that was like back then. We'd always go down there. Like that was one of the. Love that. Yeah, that was so one great. of the sets. You know, legendary set. Dude, that's where Brian yeah. Anderson. Remember, he smacks his face on the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was horrible, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, that spot was there's a lot of OG dude. Richard skated that spot hella good too. Angelides. Yeah, Angelides. Yeah. yeah. All the rhythm dudes and like, you know, that whole like era and group and time and stuff. They mm-hmm. skated that spot a lot. Brian Emmers. I think he switched hard flip oh, it back in the day. Yeah, dude. That dude was gnarly. That's he a name I've super heard gnarly. in a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, great clip. Let's, let's keep going with this. This is great, man. Now, I found this interesting because uh, usually this clip, you, you could skate there during the days usually, but you guys lit this up in San Francisco. Uh, was there a reason why you lit it up? Was it just a, I don't the, know if there was a reason or not. It was the same. That was, yeah, John Holland. Um, we went up to SF with him and, like, stayed at, like, his buddy's, like, loft apartment type thing. Mm, okay. Um, they did some zine called, like, Hamburger Eyes. I don't know. It might still exist. <laughs> but huh. it, was, uh, it was, yeah, it was a, a fun, wild time. But I don't know why we went there at night. I mean, back then, we just skated at night, too. You know what I mean? It's like, I wasn't happy. I, I didn't stop at dinner time and go home. You know, like, I wanted to keep skating all night. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. It looks great at just, night, by like, the way. Oh, I want to go to this spot. Hey, some spots yeah, look amazing often, lit up. Yeah. 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 Thankfully, are... yeah, we got to skate there and things worked. Man. You know what's gnarly Dude. there that I would see people do is when they would do manuals down it. Mm. Or, yeah. Dude, That's Hen- true. I think Henry Sanchez did 180 feet manual down it. Mm. I think he did. Yeah, right. And for some reason, I'm picturing like a nollie back heel into it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex yeah. Sanchez too, but mm. yeah. 
Well, this was two That's different two different nights. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, we must. You know, we probably went one night and it worked out. And yeah. I think someone went back the second night to like retry a trick, maybe. Gotcha. Like, I think I was matured or something. Wait, is one you wearing a camo shirt and one in the next one you wearing a camo hat? Probably. Oh. I can't tell. <laughs> maybe. You look yeah, let's nice. analyze. That looks like a camo hat. <laughs> is that a yeah. camo hat, dude? Yeah, you, that's a camo hat. Out yeah. of anyone that I've known, on a, uh, as a skateboarder, you have had the most new era hats, probably of anyone that I've known. I used to have a problem, yeah. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I owned a lot of new era hats, man. Like, and I'd bring a lot on trips, you know. Would you just load like half your suitcase with just? You were a hat guy. I, I'm still a hat guy, kind of, but I mean, yeah, the new era is. I mean, less these days because I'm getting old and I want to appreciate my hair. Like, I've been finding myself not wearing a hat sure. often just because I'm like, I want to cherish this while I have while it. Like, I'm yeah. getting older. It's but, here. Uh, yeah. Dude, dude, back dude. then I remember there was like an airport. Like, I think it was. I can't remember what airport it was, but they had a lids in the airport. So every time I would fly home to the East Coast, I would try to make my layover through this one airport so I could get off the plane and like buy some new areas. Yeah, like, get back on the plane. And then like I was always on lids, like ordering hats and just. No like, way. Are you a fitted or a snapback guy? Uh, I mean, I was never much of a snapback. Yeah. Um, I, fitted's huge. Like during that yeah. era, like yeah. so many fitted. Yeah. Um, some snapbacks I'll run. I like. I prefer a strap back. You know, I'm like okay. Strap those hey, those guy. visit hats are. I super, want to run the fitted more, but the yeah. super the visit hats are super good, man. Thank you. Yeah, these ones fit pretty nice, but uh, I'm a little jealous of your Boston hat right now. You got a fine choice of headwear tonight, Kelly. Yeah, like yeah. you know I had to. Red you know, what, yeah, yeah. You know what the hat is really good from New Era is the low profile. Low fit. profiles. I get yeah. like see that sounds more on yeah for these days like because back then it was like you just get the boxy and. I remember even like tucking my ears into him, you know, and you have the sticker right. on like, yeah. damn, we did I wild stuff back then, probably with a sweatband. Yeah, the whole thing. But uh, yeah, low profile fitted hats are on point. I yeah, could. Really yeah, good. I wouldn't mind one of those. I'll have to look into that. Hell yeah. And uh, here's the last clip that we have here because we could go. We could we could do this all night with you, dude. This is really <laughs> fun. But uh, this clip, dude, the back big spin. Mm. Uh, the last trick. Uh, yeah. Last trick. That's when back big spins were coming. Mm-hmm. There weren't too many, huh? No. Devin Callaway was, you know. Yeah, Devin. Yeah, it was like Devin, Devin Ellington, and uh, there, yeah. I don't know, yeah, not too many. But. There was a handful. And there's John yes, Holland and, and Landy. Yeah. Yeah, we used to go up to Sacramento all the time. So, yeah, we were with John Holland. I think we were staying at Stefan's house. It was like me, Stefan, Leeper, Richard. Sick. Um, go out with John and Landy every day. And, like, obviously, triple set back then was like. That's the spot. You're not going to Sacramento without, yeah, not someone's going to the triple set, you know. Yeah, so for sure. trying I think we were time, actually, man. I think we were skating, like, the lower parking lot. had, like, a curb cut to a gap. Hmm. I don't know if any of you guys remember, remember that. that. No. But there was, like, another spot at the building below it. So I think mm. we were actually kind of skating you know, there, but not there. Okay. And then I think I was like, kind of just ready. Like, I think I'll just go do this now. Kind of like, Dude, you kind of yeah. had the setup we were just talking about with the blank board, crispy white wheels. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. Oh, I that's... think that was like a plan B sample. I think that's when plan B was just starting. So we kind of oh, had like exactly. okay. samples and stuff. Yeah. I like that. And I had a Boston new era on too. <laughs> yeah. Right. The energy was flowing that day. So that was oh, we were feeling it. So that was Plan B was just coming in the works, and they were were they just sending you boards just to ride or actually test out? It's mm, a good question. I think there was a little of both, maybe. A little of both, okay. It's hard to remember, yeah, but like I know it happened over that part. Like when I was filming for First Love, I remember it was like the transition where like by the end of it, I was already gotcha you know, signing up for Plan B or whatever. So, Man, I love it, bro. Listen. Hey, I got one more clip. Go ahead, play. please. What, can, which one? Can you play the line of him going down the hill into the stairs, please? People like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yes, thank That's right, you. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's so well, this funny. switch flip is things. insane. Or yeah. a switch heel or switch no, flip? Switch, the front switch 180. Flip. Yeah, that. Ooh. Yeah, that was amazing. I used to do those too, the late ones. Yeah, that's the way to do them, huh? Yeah, man. But dude, the the song, so the song going up to this is like perfect. Mm. It's yeah, like, makes you know what? Good. I think a lot of this is just John Holland, man. Like I feel like this was like his idea too. You know, like I think we went to that of the stairs, and he was like, "Why don't you do a line from over here so, to so. there?" You know. Like, <laughs> Hey, a lot of the like, times you got to listen to the filmer because they have this yeah, vision. They can see it better than you can. Yeah, he picked out the song. For he sure. put it together. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these things are like, I just had the tricks and. 
you know, skill or whatever you want to call it, you know? And then it's like, I'm just open to ideas. And John was like, Hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like Dude, you could do this, you know? So that's a, that's a great line, man. That's yeah. a butter. Yes. And you got a, he got a good photo out of it too at the end with mm. back. Yeah. And you know what? I think I actually hit John's lens during this. So like we were trying it and at one point I hit his lens and he had to drive home. Fortunately close. Like this is right in where we live, you know? So Oh, he drove no. home to get a different lens, and I remember going over to Chipotle across the street and having like a beer and a burrito. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and feeling like really bad, like I fucking hit this dude's lens. Like he's driving all the way home to get it. Like I should. Wow. You did have that to land after eating line, a burrito you know? and having a beer? That would be like I know. Over. I'd be going. I'd be Maybe. home on my couch, yeah. <laughs> chilling. Because I mean, back then you can handle fat, that sort of dude. stuff. Yeah, they're pretty fat, but so is that front side flip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, you know, I'm just uh, no but, John Holland, dude. He he he's responsible for a lot of that part. I love it, say. man. Um, what yeah. I can't off the top of my what was song was it? I can't remember the song. The ooh, ooh child, yeah, ooh child. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that that's a great man. What a that's great a part, bro. Great song. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Things are stoked to get a trans world part i mean now it's like i feel like the era you know that it's like a it yeah. marks an era kind of like the yes. trans world video parts like and i'm stoked i got to be involved and considered and actually did that like yeah. and back then too you know it, it meant a lot because it meant that you were going out away from the company that normally would yeah. do the videos and you're going out and doing a solo project and it, it really um it meant a lot back then yeah. yeah, the sponsors. To yeah, totally. The sponsors you know, like, were stoked. People would turn yeah. pro right after these things because yeah, you're actually everyone. working on something that yeah. the company. And it was like an honor, in. you know what I mean? It's yeah. like they could pick anyone in the video. It's like in this internet age, it's like we're all on the same level. But back then, it was like Trend World selecting. Totally. You know, With some of the sponsors people. help on the trips and stuff. You know, I, I believe I, I think I, so. for sure. Maybe. Right. Like yeah. if you wrote for DC, I'm sure DC was there. You go. Into it. Like we'll buy you a flight. Yeah, I'm sure everyone was down. Yeah, because it's gonna help everyone. Yeah, so. Who else was in First Love? Omar Salazar was in there. Um, Leo Romero. It was solid. Dylan was Richard. in there. Richard. Was it? No, Dylan wasn't in that one. Uh, Shiloh was in there. Yeah. Wow. Shiloh's uh, resurgence. Yeah, Richard in Angelitis. And then. I got to go back and revisit that one, man. That's a good one. Yeah, Which I might be missing Dylan? someone. Dylan was in Time to Shine. Time to Shine. Mm, How could right. you forget that, Kelly? Yeah. That's I don't know. I mean, my it, Kelly. What's going on? <laughs> Let me just That's such a good button, part. Bro. But all those parts were so good. It was kind of around that same time too. But yeah, it, yeah, yeah. There is a few years that kind of almost blend together. I get what you're saying. Yeah. 